Wanna kill the coronavirus? Drink some warm water. Hey, welcome to Fly Cares with me, Ivan. I hope everybody's doing great so far. Hope you guys are staying home and taking care of yourselves. Now, not long after the coronavirus outbreak around the world, a whole host of crazy rumors and just a bunch of fake news started spreading around the world as well. I mean, this is the power of social media after all. So I'm sure you've heard some ridiculous remedies and some crazy ways for you to cure yourself of the COVID-19 virus. True or false, believe it or not, well, that's why I'm here, that's why we've got this going on. So let's take a look at some of these myths and some of these facts about the COVID-19 virus. We've all heard this one before, that the coronavirus is a virus created by people, whether it's by the Chinese government or by the American government or any party at all with nefarious ideas. Well, the fact is that viruses are microorganisms that can mutate and change very quickly. So, the most likely explanation to this is that this virus originated from an animal, and from what we've heard so far, it could be a bird, it could be a bat, and from what we've heard so far, it's probably one of those wild animals being sold at a wet market in Wuhan. This virus then mutated, transmitted to human beings, and that's probably how the COVID-19 virus outbreak started. In a write-up by the South China Morning Post, a physician shared some of the craziest rumors he's heard about remedies to cure the COVID-19 virus and one of them is drinking bleach. Now this is crazy because the physician shares that it's true the bleach can probably kill some of this COVID-19 viruses but it'll also kill a lot of your cells as well. Now we've heard some of these crazy rumors even take the lives of some people like drinking pure alcohol which killed a lot of people in Iran. So this is totally false. Drinking bleach will, yes, kill you as well. Dr. A. Cicely Margaret, a homeopathy specialist, has said that it's true Indian herbs have the unique tendency to prevent infections and viruses and rasam does include ingredients like turmeric as a natural antibiotic and it has the power to prevent foreign hosts but that alone doesn't conclude that it can kill the COVID-19 virus. So that's false. Now, so far, we've seen the COVID-19 virus thrive both in cold weather and in hot weather as well. I mean, it's doing fantastic here in Malaysia and in our neighboring countries like Singapore, Indonesia, and the Philippines as well. I mean, you could try taking a really hot shower, but your shower is external temperature. It's not going to affect much of what's going on inside your body because it's regulating the temperature itself. So if the COVID-19 virus has already gotten into your body, it's not going to do much. So the World Health Organization has recommended the temperature is not a reliable way to somehow prevent the virus from infecting you or anything like that. So this is something that I personally encountered as well. Friends who were ordering stuff from China didn't know how to feel about it and after the stuff arrived at their house, they decided to disinfect it themselves. Which is a great move by the way. I want to say that taking extra safety measures is a smart move but most likely when you're shipping things from overseas, it's not going to put you at any risk of contracting the COVID-19 virus. According to the World Health Organization, the risk of contracting the COVID-19 virus from a commercial package is low since it has traveled over several days and it's been exposed to different temperatures and different conditions during transit. I mean, you can sanitize the things that you've ordered just out of safety, that's great. But according to the World Health Organization, people receiving posts, especially from China, are not at risk of catching a new infection of the COVID-19 virus. Washing your hands with water is certainly better than not washing at all. But of course, using soap is great because the surfactants will help you collect the dirt and all the germs that have gathered on your hands from going outside and touching doorknobs and handrails and stuff like that. It's gonna gather all of it and through that soap, as you wash it all off, as all the lather comes off your hand, that's how you disinfect your hand and make sure that it's clean from all the germs and the dirt. Surfactants, by the way, are the cleansing ingredients that form the foam when you wash your hands. They lather on your hands, and that's the one that helps you get rid of the dirt, the oil, the grease, the germs. Different kinds of soaps like bar soaps, shampoo, even some liquid detergents, so these are just as good as liquid soap for you to get rid of these germs. So if you're gonna wash your hands with anything at all, that's great. In conclusion, who's to know what to believe and what not to believe? What's real news and what's fake news? One good way you could do it is to look at the source. Where is it coming from? Is it a reliable media outlet with a good reputation? Another way is to check subbanania.my. You can paste any links that have been forwarded to you there. But a couple of things we do know for sure is number one, 
washing your hands definitely helps. Number two, staying at home definitely helps. These are two things that you can do super basic to help prevent the spread of the COVID-19 virus. So let's keep doing that and get through this together, all right? If you've got any questions or any doubts at all, you can leave them in the comment section below and share this right now so people out there can see it as well. Let's stop fake news from spreading. Let's do it. Fly FM, today's hottest music.